Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. just released um, so there I did uh, I like to do a, a few covers so I do like Ray Charles and I like I like to do kind of boogie woogie and jazz music a little bit of honky tonk so um, that's kind of what I like to play and that's that's what's a lot of what's on the album so now you appear all over Manhattan you perform all over New York City yeah I do I play a lot in the city and I since I live in Jersey I play a lot in Jersey too you so. do you're a Jersey girl yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. tell my audience some of the fabulous places you play in New Jersey well in New Jersey I actually uh, I play at a restaurant once a week um, called the Bernard's Inn it's a, it's a nice little restaurant um, I play for the, the New Jersey Ballet Company I'm, I work for them I'm a pianist for them and then um, restaurants and private events, uh, you know, sit in with bands, um, recording sessions, pretty you know, pretty much anything with the piano. You're an amazing singer, I must tell you. But what do you really want to do? Uh, I really want to be a songwriter. Is that really what you want? Yeah. yeah. Not sing, but be a songwriter? Uh, mostly a songwriter, yeah. Songwriter and pianist, yeah. I love it. Yeah. You are so adorable. Oh. The, the New Jersey Ballet Company. That's wonderful. How did you get that gig? That must have been yeah, I know. a difficult job to get. Well, I, I just got really lucky with it. I just They just needed piano players, and even though I felt totally unqualified, I miraculously got the job, and so I've been really happy there so for a couple of years. Yeah, that's a nice gig. That really is. Tell my boy 
what is, where are you performing here in New York City, besides Gizzy's, of um, course? You know what, this summer, I I have a couple things, um, but I'll probably be back at Gizzy's, um, but I'll be playing um, in a show, <laughs> just, just doing the music part of a show. Um, but for solo performances, I'm doing a lot of that in Jersey this, you know, this spring and summer. And then I'm also going home this summer to Nebraska, where I'm from, and I'm going to do a show there in Nebraska. So. Terrific, terrific. You're from Nebraska. Yeah. Oh, it's awfully cold there. Yeah, sometimes. So tell me, darling, where should we go to find out more information about you? Do you have a website? Yes, I do. Um, it's ElizabethGrimesMusic.com. Oh, ElizabethGrimesMusic.com. Yes. And are you on Facebook? Yes, Elizabeth Grimes on Facebook. Spell it. Um, Elizabeth, E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-T-H, Grimes, G-R-I-M-E-S. Very easy. Terrific. Well, I want to thank you so much for talking to us right here at Gizzy's Cafe. Thank you so much, darling. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. Some more interviews right here at Gizzy's Cafe. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kisses. yourself to the camera. I am Marie Della Cruz. Tell my audience how you were invited to this event and why you did come. Solomon Chertok actually emailed me and said he found my music on MySpace as well as my own website and he emailed me and invited me to play along with those musicians that have been on all night and it's been an incredible experience. And you're having the best time, aren't you? Um, and I brought friends with me and some of my fans and it's just been fantastic. Tell the audience about your songs and what you hope to capture with the audience's attention. Well, I have a CD called No Expiration Date, which I have right here, and it's a selection of 11 songs. And it's really songs that are a journey of my life, but that other people can definitely relate to. Experiences of loss, and love, as well as hope. And um, I captured them through lyrics, through composition, through music, and I hope that people have the opportunity to listen to it and that it connects with them and touches them in a soulful way, whether it's in a happy way or in a way that, you know, sometimes through sadness, that's an emotion as well. So whatever it is, I hope that they can... You know, I just went to an event this week. It was the Jane Alyssa extravaganza and it was all Broadway stars and I Lori Crampton who is a Broadway actress Broadway performer she just sang and when I heard her sing she brought tears to my eyes I mean the, her voice was just so beautiful of course and the way she just captured everyone's attention and the way she sang that song that's cute oh, Oh my God! I just was—I was literally crying. I was watching, and I was crying not so much watching all at the time, but when I played it back and I uploaded it on my computer. That's how powerful her voice is. See, music can do that to you. Music can bring you to another place. And it's not so much, you know, there's a lot of different music on radio now. And people always say music is not what it used to be. Oh, definitely not. It's not, but you know what? There are still singers out there, some that are known, some not well known, that still write beautiful lyrics, touch the heart, 
and have a lot of inspiration from lots of different artists, from Joni Mitchell to James Taylor to the Beatles to Lucinda Williams to the Indigo Girls. I mean, I have a slew of people that that I listen to. That you're inspired been, by. That I'm inspired by, right? Because I said, what's your favorite performer? Do you have a favorite mm -hmm. one? No, I don't have a favorite performer. I have different performers that I really enjoy. Again, the ones that get to me are the ones that sing from the soul. The ones that you listen to and you just get mesmerized and you get lost in those moments while they're singing and it brings you back to another place. And hopefully it's a place of joy. Not always, because as on my CD, not all my songs are uplifting. There's a few ballads on there that, you know, that tweak at the heartstrings. But that's the, the joy and the sadness of life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tell my audience where we can go to find out where your next gig is going okay, to if be. If you look on my website, mariedelacruz.com, M-A-R-I-E-D-E-L-A-C-R-U-Z.com, or Crazy Daisy Music. Crazy Daisy Music. Crazy Daisy, Daisy yes. CrazyDaisyMusic.com. So I have two websites, and I have a show section, and people can look on there to find out when my next show is going to be. And please come and say hello. I'm very, I love when people come up to me and speak to me and just feel alive. That's what they live, love, laugh, and sing. Thank you, Thank you so much, Some more interviews coming up right here at Gizzy's Cafe. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. And the cognac. dressed to impress one of a kind girl. This has been a crybaby productions, darlings.